Hello to everyone, my name is Tony Anemsky and I will give you a pre short presentation about the capacity building through the ITU Centers of Excellence for this ITU Regional Development Forum Europe in Vilnius. Let's first start with the Centers of Excellence, Net Excellence Network around the world. So uh, there are 32 centers currently from 2014 in this latest, latest cycle that will run until the next year. And I'm coming from the one of the such I2 Center of Excellence Networks in the Europe region. We have five in the Europe, there are also six in Africa, then also in Americas. We have centers of excellence in Arab region and Asia Pacific. Now, how the ITU Centers of Excellence do their job? They do to the ITU Academy portal. What is an ITU Academy portal? Well, that is an ITU e-learning web-based platform, which is designed as a single point of entry to all ITU training courses, including e-learning courses, but also courses operate in the blended mode, combination of face-to-face -face and e-learning, as, well as, as well as as backend for the face-to-face -face courses, for example, for the assessment. Then the, uh, there are priorities for the, these trainings that are set by the ITU through their ITU D conferences, like World Telecommunication Development Conferences. Such priorities include, for example, broadband access, cybersecurity, e-waste, and so on. Now let's look to the ITU Academy web portal. Uh, here is given an example of recent uh, print screen from the portal, so you can see how it looks. It's uh, very well designed, and we have upcoming event events about the upcoming IT courses, uh, and also we have uh, some materials put there, for example, like capacity building in changing ICT environments, which is a new material from this 2017, and so on about the training programs that are offered or are planned to be offered in the near future. If we go inside, so each IT Academy user can log in into the IT Academy, but only enrolled participants for a given course, into a given course, which have paid, for example, a course fee, can access the course contents. Here is inside view of one such page that is targeted for a given course that was delivered in 2016, targeted to broadband internet and future networks. We can see different tools. We are not going into the details. We can, just to mention that we have different options in the IT economy, including the hosting materials, creating forums, uh, putting even video lectures, etc. Now, what are the type of participants for these IT centers of excellence courses? Well, the main target are participants that are professionals. That, uh, and the courses should provide a way for capacity building, lifelong capacity building of ICT or telecommunication professionals. So, uh, these different types of participants are coming from different organizations, which include, on the first place, national regulatory agen agencies, then the government organizations and ministries, but also network, network providers like telecom operators or and service providers like over-the-top service providers, then telecom and IT companies and so on, but also in students from universities. We have also participants like professors or trainers from other academia uh, institutions and so on. Overall, we have a variety of participants on different IT Academy courses, and different participants may have different interests in, within the IT Academy and even within a single IT learning course because most of them are professionals and some of them are more interest, interesting, uh, interested in technical parts, other are more interested in the regulatory or business parts or issues, and so on. Now, uh, let's give, have a, a brief look on recent from 2010 until the 2016 of ITU e-learning courses. Uh, so we can see what are the topic careers, then, then we can see the number of participants and the number of countries. Uh, it is interesting that in these best practices from the ITU Academy learning courses, so we have participants coming from all around the world. You see, for example, 
the recent three years, um, we have uh, approximately between mm, 30 and 50 countries included uh, in a given course. Uh, of course, the number of participants from a country to a country vary, but overall uh, it's global. That's the most important. Uh, it's global and most of, of the participants are coming from the regulators, but of, as I have mentioned, we have also from operators and providers and from the academia and from other uh, small, medium and large ICT companies. Uh, to, see, to see what the participants are looking for when they are participating in the ITU center Centers of Excellence courses, we can look uh, into selected feedback from some participants. For example, some participants are uh, targeting to, uh, towards uh, emerging technologies. Then uh, other are just uh, need best practices by discussing that ICT is used with other people all around the world, and that is very important. Then uh, we need these courses to be enjoyable because most of the participants are professionals and they can judge well what is good and what is not. Let's continue. For example, some participants uh, are interested in technical as well as business and regulation issues. So there are combination of issues, especially in this uh, complex ICT world that we are living today. Then this is a good one. More knowledge means better professionals. So uh, the professional needs continuous capacity building. And of course, the increased knowledge is the main outcome from these trainings. Now, how to create and deliver a successful IT Academy training? Well, one way is to continuously extend the portfolio of training programs um, by adding up-to-date things uh, and uh, experiences. Then, to continue the successful programs, those that are interested to the uh, audience, then to have multiple delivery channels. That includes face-to-face -face trainings, e-learning trainings, blended mode trainings, and then uh, to sh establish, and it, all, it is already established, the IT Academy as a medium for global lifelong capacity building in the telecommunications ICT areas. Of course, the well structures and well design courses are based on the focus areas uh, given and specified by the ITUD to their World Telecommunication Development Conferences, from which the next one is coming this year uh, uh, in the second part of the year. Uh, then, successful practices, where participants are satisfied from the delivery of the course, increase the appeal for the participation in future ITU Academy courses, which are delivered to the ITU Centers of Excellence. And then, and the question is, how to create good e-learning pract e practices, good learning practice? Well, that is to several let's say, issues that should be considered, like finding most relevant subject areas, then quality training materials, up-to-date uh, with uh, interesting information which is interested for the targeted participants, having professional and encouraging work by the tutors, because the tutor does a lot uh, by encouraging the participants and providing uh, uh, online help via email, via platform, then uh, that leads to a course organization, which is very important. Uh, the, uh, it is organization before the course, during the course, and uh, a period after the course. Uh, so we have, uh, let's say, three periods that are important. Then setting a course scheme that fits participants' needs and creates a high user experience. So that is uh, very important to attract the, the users to come back. Then focusing on students, that is core participants, and what they need, and then having efficient post-course administration, which is typically done by the ITU Academy people in Geneva. Then what does, um, what is important for the ITU Academy? Well, in this case, ITU through the Center of Excellence Network provides excellence of the training by using the recognized instructors, experts, professors uh, from the academia, then uh, provides diversity of ITU academy trainings, including capacity building for all ages. Of course, the focus is to ICT professionals, uh, but it uh, includes also students as participants, 
uh, let's say, start uh, professionals at the beginning of their careers, uh, middle range and um, other managers in the ICT field, etc. The, then if, uh, the ITU and Center of Excellence deliver information about giving IT course to different parties by doing marketing for the course. Uh, and uh, uh, this way they complement the university level education long term. So this is not a competition to the university education, but, but a complementary activity, which is uh, very needed according to the uh, numbers of the participants in the past years. Uh, on the side of the IT Academy platform, uh, we have um, I would say high reliability of the platform and then it includes online and offline registrations for easy course enrollments uh, which is uh, for example the online uh, enrollment is uh, soon added also the offline with automatically generated invoices uh, which is very convenient for participants coming from organizations then uh, there is a limitless number of ICT topics. Uh, the ICT nowadays is very broad, so we can have topics like uh, engine, like uh, Internet of Things, uh, like uh, broadband access, uh, like uh, regulation of the quality of service, uh, and so on. And there are different tools on the IT Academy platform for courses delivery available to all centers of excellence. And finally, as a summary, <clears throat> we can say that IT Academy overall is excellent online self-learning e-learning platform. It is on the first place educational platform and uh, it integrates um, the education, training, information resources on the different areas of the ICT, on ICTs of telecommunications. Uh, and then different training programs cover a wide range of ICT related topics. So they are ranging from programs for targeted to policymakers and regulators to programs targeted to professional so working in uh, operators or service providers uh, or and uh, universal programs that are targeted to different uh, types of people. Overall, one may say at the end that IT Academy is the global IT, IT's flagship for capacity building in the ICT, the telecommunications fields, and that is available to everyone interested in it on a global scale. So we have participants coming from developed countries, we have participants coming from developing countries, uh, and they are all on one place in a given IT Academy course, and that is great. So let's see a memorable feedback from a course participants in this IT Academy learning courses in 2016. Uh, she stated uh, it has uh, been a dream of a lifetime to discuss with different people from different jurisdictions on telecommunications. So this is most important to have different people from different jurisdictions on telecommunications from different countries on one place, online <coughs> or offline, via the IT Academy to discuss up-to-date issues that are important to everyone because telecommunications are global and issues are global and they are important for every country and for every professional working in the ICT field everywhere. That was everything for me for this talk. Thank you for listening to it and I hope that you are enjoying the IT Regional Development Forum for Europe 2017 in Vilnius. Have a great life and everything the best.